everybody, it's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Uh, as you can see, we back downtown again. We had to sneak back out here because I had to hit my store where my sandwiches be at. Corner Bakery, they got some dope sandwiches in there. Healthy too, because a lot of people be eating that bad stuff. So they got some dope little sandwiches in there. And I get them cold too, because I like them cold. So I'm always here at this spot right there. I uh, got Baby Teller with me. As you can see, Baby Teller, tell everybody what's up, Baby Teller. Uh, okay, yeah, but uh, we out here chilling today. Uh, a lot of people be asking me about Lil Tim. Uh, I guess there's a video floating around the internet that kind of went viral. Like he was talking to some inmates in jail, and I guess the inmates was in that camera and shit. Like, fuck, King Von, you smoking that King Von pack and shit like that in the camera. And uh, Lil Tim felt some type of way about that. You know, he felt a little shy about that. He left the lab in and a lot of people been asking me about that. Do I feel like he did the right thing? Uh, do he have any remorse? Is that showing remorse? Uh, I'm not sure if it's remorse. I'm not saying it ain't remorse either. I can't jump in that young man here. He probably feel bad for that shit. He just got to take it off, you know. But uh, I think, you know, he's clearly been talking to you. know, the whole Takashi 6 9 I think some real respected members been talking to Lil Tim. Uh, that's the reason why he didn't release that video or song or whatever the fuck he did with Takashi if he did one with him. Uh, but he was with him, you know what I'm saying? I think the reason why he didn't have that, he not really fucking with it no more. It's because, like, respected people start talking to him and shit like that. But uh, I also think that uh, Tim finally got an out-of-body experience. He has homies saying that shit. He has fans probably telling him that shit. But to finally hear somebody telling him that shit with the world seeing it, you know, I think he kind of realized how wild that is. He's famous for killing King Von, you know? This guy's famous for killing somebody, and he kind of playing it up. And if he ain't paying close attention to it, Quando Rondo ain't really with that, you know what I'm saying? Quando Rondo don't support that on some real shit. Okay. And I'm not the biggest Quando Rondo supporter, but you don't see Quando Rondo in the videos no more. You know, uh, you don't see him with the 6 9 shit like that. You don't see him linking this stuff to anything that's disrespectful to King Von anymore. Even though he was doing that, putting fake dirts in the videos. But, you know, he done did the check in with Big U. You know, respect the people that talked to Quan though and told him that shit kind of weird. Don't do that no more. And I think Tim didn't got that same talking to. And it's even more crazy with Tim because he's fighting a murder case. Like, you was going to get on a song with the person. Just think about this, bro. Takashi 6 9 is disrespecting King Von. And you was gonna get in the video. Like, just think about that shit, bro. It, and then you was gonna go in the courtroom five months later and say, you ain't had nothing to do with it. You an innocent dude. This dude was bullying you and you don't know what went on. But then again, you dropping videos for shelves and, and I just think he realized he need to lay low because, you know, this system kind of weird, you know? I know everybody's saying, man, he gonna get off his self-defense. They see what happened, man. Dude was trying to bully him. He protected Quando Rondo. Look, sometimes it ain't that easy with two clips that game members, you know? The police ain't on nobody's side, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a 50-50. That young man might go to jail for this case. I'm not saying he is, you know? I feel like it might be different, but I'm just saying, you know, it's a possibility on that shit. You know? Come here, let me see something downtown, man. Down there, man. And it be dope down here too, man, because you, you see a different level of life down here too, man. And it's sad too because, you know, it's like people come down here, you know, to get away from that violence and shit. You know, it's expensive as hell to live down here, so, you know. It keep the ghetto street people away. A lot of people don't realize that, you know. Uh, so when you come to a community like this, you either gonna be working out here or you visiting or you just out here trying to escape the violence because you're not gonna really be living out here, you know? The people that live out here, they really live out here to escape that violence because they know they keep the ghetto people away. I'm not saying that that shit don't come down here because that shit come down here, you know? Eight, nine minutes away, FBG Duck got murdered down here, man. And you go down like 11, 10 minutes down there, uh, Zach TV got killed. You go down like seven minutes down there, that's when you see Lil Reese I almost check out on the camera with the police officer and they saying he stole the car and all kind of shit like that. You know, you can't can't act like that shit safe because everybody out here, bro, is dangerous as hell in the neighborhood. So everybody come out here to get away from that shit, which means you could be spotted, you know? 
uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We doing a lot of interviews. We got a lot of shit gonna be popping off today. I appreciate the love. It's the only truth on this street.